if you use your words and you call youth renewal it will hear you and come to you the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 11. So we preach and so you believed. So we preach and so you believe. That's how it works what if i didn't preach certain things we wouldn't hear it. you wouldn't be able to go there and therefore i preach certain things for a specific reason so that i can preach them and you can believe them and when you believe them you can have them tonight i am going to preach and speak on the subject of youth renewal Say youth renewal. youth renewal. Is that good? Yes. Because then you can believe in the youth renewal that comes from God and experience it in your life. But we're going there. Listen, we're going there. We are going onto youth renewal. Say, I am going on unto youth renewal youth renewal is important to your fulfilling the call of God in your life it is part of the call of God on your life to have your youth renewed and besides that the Holy Ghost likes it he lives there he lives in the ever-present state of his youth being renewed where are you called to go there I call my youth renewed here youth come here if you use your words and you call youth renewal it will hear you and come to you say if I call, if I call youth, renewal, youth renewal it will hear me, hear me and come to me, come to me. it's a good thing is this okay yes so let's get some things established first Psalms 103 and verse 1 says bless the Lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the Lord O my soul and forget most of his benefits that's the new modern translation where we forget most of his benefits wait a minute this one says bless the Lord O my soul and forget not oh that's different forget not all his benefits he's got some benefits mm -hmm. and we don't want to forget any of them right. we forget not all them hmm. are you here yes well let's look at a couple verse 3 who forgives all thine iniquities is that a good one well, don't forget it who heals all thy diseases mm. say he heals, he heals all, all my, diseases. my diseases come on all of them yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a positive benefit that God heals all of your diseases mm -hmm what about diseases that would come on someone as the result of old age mm -hmm. obviously that would be disqualified from all because all doesn't mean those no all means all mm -hmm. are there diseases that come on people as the result of old age yes. there's a whole list of them a litany okay so he heals all your diseases verse 4 who redeems thy life from destructions 
would some of those diseases that might possibly try to come on you as the result of getting older would that be a destruction for you yes. it could destroy you he redeems you from those verse 5 who satisfies your mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed is that a benefit yes. was this specifically listed in the benefits that you are not supposed to forget mm -hmm. yeah forget not all of him and this is just the fifth one mm -hmm. who renews thy youth like the eagles and we will talk a little bit more about the eagle part later in the message but can we see here that youth renewal is a benefit it's a benefit is it a good thing yes. it's a good thing and is it something he does yes, it is. yes it's something God does or he wouldn't list it in his benefits yes. mm -hmm. get it straight God renew as much as he would heal sickness and disease which he said he heals them all he renews youth as much as he forgives sins oh, he renews youth mm -hmm. it's a good thing it's a benefit it's something he does youth renewal is a benefit youth renewal is a good thing and youth renewal is something God does you got to have that settled say I have it settled I okay well let's see here he said well how how does he renew your youth they, he gives us a clue Psalms 103 verse 5 who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed youth renewal has something to do with the mouth listen youth renewal has something to do with your mouth mm -hmm. a satisfied mouth your satisfied mouth can you see that you get your mouth satisfied and the result will be youth renewal are you here I'm just now satisfied you can look it up it also means to be satiated I like to think of it as a sponge sponge yeah when you take a sponge and you you get it soaked up in some water to where it can't hold any more water that sponge is satisfied that's a satisfied sponge and then what happens? you poke it a little bit and what comes out water whatever's in it comes out because it can't hold anymore it just comes out well when your mouth is satisfied with good things youth renewal will come out Proverbs chapter 25 verse 11 a word fitly what spoken a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in pictures of silver very satisfying very tasty if you eat enough of those kind of words spoken you will be satisfied mm -hmm. proverbs chapter 13 verse 2 a man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth mm -hmm. he shall be satisfied he shall be satiated by the fruit of his mouth another verse says by the increase of his lips say the increase, the increase. what's the increase of your lips speaking more saying more of those good things and you increase until you're satisfied and then what do we know the mouth being satisfied is how God gets youth renewal to you Psalms chapter 107 and verse 20 he sent his word and healed them 
and delivered them from their destructions so he sent his word how do you send your word mm -hmm. by saying it he sent his word in order to heal them and deliver them from their destructions and I like to say this this way you have to take it by mouth you ever heard about medication and it says sometimes on the side of the bottle to be taken by mouth you have to take the Word of God by mouth meaning you have to say it you have to put the good Word of God in your mouth mm -hmm. and it heals you and delivers you the one who puts it in his mouth mm -hmm. delivers them from their destructions my destructions he delivers me from I'm talking about him delivering me when I put his word in my mouth from my destructions and there's a whole list of destructions it could be in fact there's no short list there's no short list of destructions that comes with the effects of aging is it a short list no it's a long list only recently have certain doctors begun to classify getting older as a disease because it, they're tracing it back to that's the root of where these other things came from mm -hmm. but the list is long for the effects of aging I was gonna write a whole bunch of things down but you can figure them out but the end is always the same it's a short list what's the end of aging death they'll say the, the cause of death was one of those things on the long list <sighs> well years ago I was praying about a certain reoccurring issue that I was having in my physical body and the Spirit of God said to me you don't need healing you need your youth renewed youth re listen youth renewal supersedes healing why because it supersedes the need for being healed of something your youth was renewed it's a superior force get this youth renewal is a superior force say that youth renewal, youth renewal is a superior, is a superior force. force get it working he satisfied my mouth with the good things and my youth is renewed Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 5 and have tasted the good Word of God how do you taste something with your eye with your mouth and your tongue have tasted the good Word of God which meant they had it in their mouth is that too difficult they've tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come the power of the world to come is the power of everlasting life and in this side is youth renewal we just said that your mouth was satisfied with good mm -hmm. they tasted the good word of God what does this say is good their mouth is satisfied with the good word of God his word is good for the saying say his word, his word is, good is good for the saying, for the saying. it's like apples of gold and pictures of silver his word is good for the saying <laughs> well I want to be 25 again well I want to live to 120 these are fine these are all good goals but it's the system that takes you to the goal set systems and not goals because it's the system that takes you to the goal this is the system God's Word in your mouth causes your youth to be renewed God's Word in your mouth causes your youth to be renewed 
and it's a benefit of this system he satisfies my what mouth, mouth. he satisfies your mouth with good things right so he's satisfying he's he's satiating your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed it's a system it's a simple system a simple this that equation this equals that it's a simple this that equation if I put this in my mouth I will have that it's not complicated if I put God's good word in my mouth and it satisfies my mouth meaning I have it fully in my mouth then what will I have that youth renewal it's simple how do you know that your youth is renewed how do you know it your mouth is satisfied when my mouth is satisfied my youth is renewed my youth is being renewed James talks about the ability of the tongue to turn about your whole body James chapter 3 verse 2 if any man offend not in word the same is a perfect man able also to bridle bring into control what the whole body would that be old parts of your body yeah. just the whole body behold we put bits in the horses mouths that they may obey us and we turn about their whole body God's good word in your mouth will turn about your whole body turn about mm -hmm. from aging to youth renewal he turns it about are you getting this verse 6 says so is the tongue among our members the tongue is able to turn about your whole body renew its youth so is the tongue among our members we believe in youth renewal we walk in youth renewal others don't but what does that have to do with us well I thought you were going to tell us about the Eagle I want to hear about the like an Eagle part and okay now you have some context I hope you can see through all of what we've been through we have some context now an eagle once they get older you hear we're talking about the eagle part you happy the eagle and what their, their beak continues to grow it continues to grow and continues to grow and eventually it grows so far hooked downward that they can't eat anything anymore mm -hmm. and not not every eagle does this but it is a well-known phenomena among eagles in fact they wrote about it in this scripture that it's like the eagle but not every eagle does what I'm gonna talk about and not every Christian will do what we're talking about but so that eagle once he his beak has grown too long which you can tell he had to be old to have it do that right he flies off somewhere up in the mountains and on some rock and the thing bugs him so much he begins to beat it and beat it against the rock until he breaks the whole thing completely off his beak well now he can't eat so what's he doing if he can't eat he's fasting and that could be a whole nother message but you understand there's the eagle no beak not eating waiting until a new one begins to form and a new one begins to grow back and then that eagle flies down off the mountain and starts over are you here now everyone wants their youth renewed but no one wants to break off 
their old beak and grow a new one say grow a new one grow a new one you have to break off the old one before you can start to grow a new one mm -hmm. and we're talking about putting the word of god in your mouth you have to break off from all those old things you used to say and you have to put the good word of god in your mouth and begin saying it are you here yes. mm -hmm. that seems extreme brother yeah and i told you a lot of Christians don't go here and a lot of Christians won't have their youth renewed because they're unwilling to go here you have to put youth renewal in your mouth Joel chapter 3 and let's look at verse 10 beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears let the weak say i am strong you have to say the opposite say i have to, I have to. Say, say the opposite. the opposite if you're getting old and and things are coming on you from age from aging sickness and disease coming on you from aging you need to begin saying the opposite break off that old beak beat it into something else by saying the good word of god beat i like how he says beat your plowshares into swords yours you have to do it it's something you have to beat say it's something, it's something I, must beat. I must beat let the weak say i am strong let those who are getting older say my youth is renewed God's word in your mouth changes everything Amen. what will it change James said it'll turn about your whole body God's word concerning youth renewal in your mouth will change your whole body and set the course of nature for you to be completely different God's word in your mouth changes everything for you say this he sent, he sent his, word his word and healed me and, healed me and delivered me, and delivered me from, my from my destructions he satisfied, he satisfied my, mouth my mouth with good things, with good things. And, my and my youth is renewed, is renewed. thank you holy ghost for blessing these people that they have spoken these words out their mouth and as they continue to do so says the spirit lord i will quicken you according to those words with my faith and you shall rise up like an eagle and be changed and have your whole situation and your whole physical body renewed in jesus name amen, amen. If you have a tithe or an offering, hold it in your hand. Say this after me. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I worship you. I thank you that I am blessed. And my giving is being multiplied back to me in great measure. I worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. The Father is in heaven. At his right hand, Holy Ghost, your God.